out the door usually around 6.30 and to the hospital before 7. Then I would go and see the, the first patient in the pre-op area, discuss the procedure. Then I would go to the operating room. And then once the case is completed, I go out and I talk to the patient's family, make sure that all their questions are answered. I would go up and make rounds and see the patients up on the floor then come back down to the surgery area, then I would do the next surgery, and once that's completed, head it over to the office, and then saw patients in the office. It does create long hours, uh, and so you're frequently gonna be up, a lot of times by six, and then most of the time, uh, you're gonna have a 12-hour day. There are days when you're on call, uh, that's another part of, of being as, in a surgical specialty. Call can, you know, is disruptive to your, to your daily life, to your family life. So that's, that's a definite consideration, but it's something that you get used to. As far as orthopedic surgery itself, is, it's wonderful. I mean, I wouldn't go into anything else. I like to work with my hands, and you know, when I was younger, I worked on car engines, and I built furniture, and I knew that I wanted to be doing something that required me to be putting things together or taking things apart. So I knew before I went to medical school that that's what I wanted to do. You can take on a problem, and you know with confidence that if you do a good job, the patient's gonna do really well and they're gonna be very satisfied. And I like that gratification of having the patient come back and see that their problem is completely resolved and they're very happy. And I always love it when someone comes in and they tell me that they came to see me because of someone else that I treated. The benefits and the joy that I get from treating patients you know, far outweighs the inconvenience of being on call.